frontline kids, how are we all this week? I'm great as well and I really hope you're having a good week and enjoying your six weeks holidays. Today on Frontline Kids we'll be learning about the story David and Goliath. Have you heard that story before? That's great, but if you haven't, no panic because you'll learn about it today. Now before we start, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for all that you do for us, for all your loving kindness and care. We pray today that we will learn something new in this story that will help us go into our new week. In your precious name we pray, amen. Who remembers that the task this year is to learn all the books of the Bible? Are we halfway there? Is anybody all the way there? Can any of you say all the books of the Bible in order yet? That's great. I can't wait to hear it when I see you all again. So before we start our story this week, I want to show you two objects. We have a piece of rope and a piece of string. Out of the two, which one do you think would be stronger? The rope or the piece of string. For those of you who said the rope, that is correct. If we were going up a mountain, I really think that we would prefer the, the rope to be able to hold us because it would be a lot stronger. I don't think the string would be able to do the job. However, a small button like this needs to be able to be sewn back onto our clothes. Do you think that the rope would be able to do the job? I don't think the rope would be able to go through the small holes in order to sew the button back on because it's really too thick. However, the piece of small string is able to go through the holes. Shall we try? At that. So what that really shows us this week is that just because the piece of string wasn't able to do the job of holding us up to go up the mountain, that it doesn't have a job of its own because it's now small and delicate enough to spread this small button back onto our clothes. Isn't that great? Our story today starts in Israel. Now Israel used to have a king called Saul. But Saul was really disappointing to God. He really disobeyed him. So God said, no, nope, we'll have a new king. God sent Samuel, who was a prophet, to find Jesse and told him that he had seven sons and one of them would be the new king. So Samuel went to find Jesse and see his seven sons and they were all big and strong and tall. But God said, no, nope, none of them. I don't care how big and strong they are. I care about the person's heart. So Jesse went and got his youngest son who was out in the fields tending sheep. And God said, that's him. So David became the new king. Now, sometimes later, the Philistines and the Israelites were having a big fight and the Philistines sent a big giant, big, 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 who can stretch their arms really big, a really big giant to fight. And all the Israelites were scared. But David said, I will fight him. I will take on the big giant. When the giant saw David, he laughed. <laughs> you are going to fight me. I don't think so. I am way too big and strong for you. I will blow you down. So, David was given some armor, but he said, nope, I don't want the armor. I have the strength in God who will help me fight this battle. Now David took five stones and a slingshot and he let one go. And it hit Goliath right in the middle of his head. And guess what? Goliath fainted. 
David was a hero. Can you imagine that? It is just like the story of our two pieces of string. We had Goliath, who was the rope, and David, who was the small and delicate thread. Somehow, the small, delicate thread was able to be stronger than the rope. The moral of the story behind this, guys, is that no matter how small you are, with God, you are able to do really big things. So the big idea for this week, based on our story, is that God can do big things, even with small faith. Just like David and Goliath. David was really small, and nobody would have thought that he would have beaten Goliath. But because he had big faith in God, God did big things for him. So while we go on to our craft this week, we are going to be creating David's bag. Now to create this, you're gonna need a piece of paper, piece of string, and some coloring pens. Now on my piece of paper, I have drawn five stones Maybe you can draw around some stones that you find outside in the garden, or you can make a shape of your own stone. Maybe you can even color your stones in different colors because stones are not all one color, but I like the color black. I then wrote the message for this week on my, the bottom of my, my bag, and the message reads, the battle is the Lord's, and that comes from 1 Samuel, verse 1747 so like I said you will need a piece of paper and ask mummy and daddy for some scissors to help you cut out the shape of the bag I then poked some holes through the top can you see and I threaded my piece of string through and tied it at the top and made a knot maybe a mummy and daddy can do that for you and help you with that as well and I don't know where I'll put this. Maybe I'll hang it up on either my fridge or in my room. Somewhere to always remind us of David's bag. That this is all he carried to fight with when he went to battle Goliath. And that reminds us that even with small faith and even small items, they can do really big things. Our memory verse from this week comes from Hebrews 13 verses 6 and it says the Lord is my helper I will not be afraid now sometimes I really struggle with learning uh, memory verses but I find that good ways of doing it maybe sometimes is to write it all out on a big piece of paper in big letters and if you cut it all up maybe get mommy and daddy to help you and put them in an envelope and shake them about take them out and put them face down and then uncover them one by one and read it out and put it together now when you put it together you're learning at the same time the memory verse and that will help you remember it for next time i hope you had a good time this week learning our story of david and goliath now to close we're going to pray will you help me Thank you. Dear God, thank you for this week. Thank you for teaching us that even though things are small, they can be really strong as long as it has faith in you. Thank you for teaching us that small faith can do big things for us and that we should never, ever doubt ourselves. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, before we go, I want to remind you that we have some information and some activity sheets for you to do. Please remember that if you're gonna do any of them, to send them in because we would love to see them and see what you've been up to during your six weeks holiday. Bye for now, bye.